Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. New to Netflix, The House is a stop-motion animated feature described on IMDb as a three-part series but released as a single portmanteau film, three stories based around the titular property. Although the stories seem to move forward through time, from the past to the present and onto a possible future, they each have their own distinct aesthetic and exist within very different worlds. And while the look of the house is relatively consistent, its role within each story changes. So these are three stories set in the same location, not the story of the house through time. That said, they deal respectively with arriving at the house, living there and trying to leave, but I wouldn't say those themes dominate. Tonally, the stories also shift, with the first the most traditionally and very unnervingly horror, producing some memorable visuals in a tale that is sinister, menacing and even disturbing. <laughs> the second, based around humanoid mice, is a different type of horror. Less tense and more skin crawling, though still hinting at social issues which can be read into every episode, though again, they certainly don't dominate. The third takes a very different tone again, as its protagonists, now humanoid cats, deal with a world not just changing, but deteriorating around them. Different though they are, the three stories feature similarly detailed levels of world building. I love that these cats are watching Buster Keaton's silent classic, Our Hospitality. Though the characters are animated models, they are no less engaging and sympathetic for it, particularly Jen in episode 3, voiced by Susan Wakoma, whose personality and plight are so relatable despite her post-apocalyptic situation. Although that situation causes her problems, the story is very much Jen's personal apocalypse and she is as isolated as the house. Don't be afraid. There is a fantastic voice cast with Helena Bonham Carter, the most eye-catching name, alongside Jarvis Cocker of Pulp, who also provides a song for the closing credits. Here are two as tends to be the case with animation, this is a labour of love years in the making. And you seldom stop to think about how much work goes into shooting a model animation like a regular film, with changing camera angles and moving cameras. Technically, it's an extraordinary achievement, but that would mean nothing if they weren't also great stories. This is not just great animation, this is great filmmaking, and I loved it. Whoa. Come on! Thanks for watching. We've now reviewed films called House, His House and The House. What films with similar titles do you occasionally get confused? Let us know in the comments below.